Hey guys, Katie is Jub Jub here, and um, as you can tell by the title above, this is iMovie 11 review, uh, in depth, showing you new features, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I bought this off the Apple Mac Store, which was only fifteen dollars, which I think is a pretty good deal since iMovie is a great video editing program. Uh, I use it for almost all my videos that are not special effects heavy. Um, and then uh, the update has fairly good new features uh, that is definitely worth the 15 bucks. Um, so I recently had iMovie 09, which also was a great iMovie, um, but it's time to update. Uh, so some new things about iMovie is probably the biggest thing that they talked about was movie trailers um they did movie trailers really nice uh, i'll show you some of these examples if you just click on a movie trailer i'll show you uh the trailer like a example of how it looks I'm just going to show you an example of how you actually make a trailer uh, and how easy it is. So basically here, you have your outline. Uh, you just put the name, the date, um, so like the movie name of what you want to call it, and then the release date. Um, so the main star, like the cast, um, you can make your own studio name, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you just type something in and it automatically updates it here. You can change your logo style. You can have across the globe, black background, whatever you want. Uh, then you get all these credits that you can type in. Uh, you can have it for fun, whatever you want to do. Storyboard, this is where all the clips come in, so you can just grab something, throw it in there. That's that simple. And, um,. Shot list, and you can see all the shots you have, like medium shots, landscape, action, uh, and they play this out really well. So right now, I'm going to be playing a video of, or a trailer that I made in two minutes of just a clip from my handsfree uh, review that's on my channel, and something from the car show. So check that out. Alright, so that was just something I did, again, in two minutes. Very simple. Uh, yes, it was very, very corny, but I just wanted to show you how it comes together. And the funny thing is, I have a school project coming up where we do have to make a trailer, so this would be awesome for that project. Uh, just get almost all the work done for me, just throw in the clips and that's it. Um, another cool feature they added was um, audio, audio editing. Now I found that to be also a big thing that they did because before there wasn't really much audio editing you could do. Now here if you go to audio adjustments you get this inspector and you can do a lot more than you could before. You can do fade in, fade out, enhance, equalizer, 
uh, which they did not have before. Ducking, they did have volume. Um, and then also, if you click this little... Sorry, not that one. Right here. My bad. It will show you the audio, uh, whatever you want to call it. And if it gets pretty loud, you can just kind of throw it down a little bit so it's not too loud. Or you can make it louder. Um, also, I think a, a cool fun thing that they added is uh, audio effects. So if you go to click clip adjustments, you can go to audio effects. So that's just a fun little new thing that they added. Um, that is definitely, I would say, worth the upgrade if you want to have some fun. <clears throat> one more thing they talked about, or not one more thing, but one of the things they talked about with one-step effects. And these are definitely for the new editors, but you can make something look really cool if you wanted to. Uh, and so one of the one-step effects that they have is instant replay. So let's say you take a clip here. I'm going to split the clip. And then you just go to clip and you do instant replay. It's that easy. You can see how how like slow you want to make it. So I'll make it 25%. Does everything for you. Press play. And then it automatically does an instant replay. Um, you don't really need to watch that. Another thing they have is flash and hold. So you take the clip, go to clip, uh, then you do, where did it go? Special effects, flash and hold. Press play. Flashes, holds the last clip, and then continues playing. Alright, sorry for that cut there. Um, so let's just get back into this. Another thing that they added to iMovie 11 was jump cut at beats. Um, I, I'm i not going to show it to you here because it takes quite some time to set up. But basically what it does is if you put a song um, and then you find the parts where you want it to jump, go to clip, special effects, split at beat marks, and then you can flip at beat marks and what it does is it'll make it uh it, it'll make the clips jump basically at the beats so like it'll cut and then play the next thing when that the song has some pretty heavy beats at it um that takes some time to find out where you want the beats to go but it it looks pretty awesome uh once you get it finished another thing that they added is people finder um, so if you're familiar with iPhoto, it's just like iPhoto. It, it'll give you clips of where you have a certain person inside. So you do, like, you can scan a clip. I obviously don't have any people in this clip, but I'll analyze video. Then you can do stamp, uh, stabilization and, and, and people, just stabilization, or people. You click people, and it'll detect all the people inside the the video clip and if it sees somebody there then it'll it'll save that sort of face and then you can make you can stay um analyze all your clips and have a folder or whatever of just the clips with those people in it and that is definitely great for uh for making trailers i don't know what happened here when it jumped um so yeah uh, and another thing they added was new themes. Uh, as before, the main thing in two two thousand nine was the themes, and the themes definitely created a lot new style to your videos. Uh, so they added more themes now, where you get as before you get the photo album. If you can see right here, bulletin board. Uh, comic book, which you had before, scrapbook, which I believe you didn't, flip strip, strip, which I don't believe you didn't, news, which is new, uh, which is a pretty cool theme if you're doing a school project or something, and then sports, which is also nice if you're, I don't know, like sports. <laughs>
So yeah, that's basically it for the video. I highly recommend getting iMovie 11. However, if you already have iMovie 09, it's not a huge jump, but as it is a nice jump to do if you got the 15 bucks and you want to learn more on iMovie. Uh, one bad thing that I found out about iMovie 11 is that it definitely slows down much more than iMovie 09. But if you do have an HD camera and you're importing full 1080p or 720p, they'll definitely make it slower down if you have an older computer and not as great power. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more Mac videos, um, iPod, iMovie, iPhoto um iphone <laughs> all those i stuff and apple stuff and i am starting to make apps so look for look forward to tutorials on that and how to learn objective c all right peace